Hello, my sisters. Hello, my brothers. Another beautiful, blessed day today. To always, always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day just to seek Him in this kingdom. Another day just to give Him the thanks right now. Just to give Him the praise right now. Just to give Him the glory right now in the house of the Lord. And if God has been good to you, like I know He's been good to me, I want you to give him 30 seconds of praise right now in the house of the Lord. If you know that God got your back, I want you to give him some praise right now. If you know that God has already turned your situation around, I want you to give him some praise right now. If you know that a blessing is coming your way this year, if you know that a breakthrough is coming your way this year, if you know that miracles is coming your way this year, if you know that something new is coming your way this year, I want you to give Jesus some praise right now. Praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and out switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing. Because it's our God who's still sitting right there on the right hand of the throne. He's still performing miracles. He's still performing on wonders each and every day. He's in the business of blessing and healing and guiding and directing and moving mountains in everyone's life right now today. He's in the business are doing more than enough for those who really love him. And if you really, really love with Jesus like I'm in love with Jesus, you don't have anything to worry about, my sister, my brothers. No way, no how. God got everything worked out. He got everything situated. He got everything under control. The only thing that you need to do is put your faith in him, your trust in him, your hope in him, and give him the thanks for it. Give him the praise for it. Give him the glory for it. Everything is already done. Everything is already settled. Now give him some praise right now today if you know he done it for you. But some of you right now today only want to praise God when things are good. Mm, 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 mm. Do you not know? It's going to be a good time and it's also going to be a bad time. But you got to praise God even during the bad times. You got to praise when things not adding up. You got to praise when things not making sense. You got to praise when you're in the wilderness. You got to praise when you're in the storm. You got to praise when you're in that dry place. You got to praise when you're in that dark place. You got to praise when that messed up place. Because when you can praise God, in those kind of circumstances, in those kind of situations, God said, I can trust you. God said, a blessing is coming your way. A breakthrough is coming your way. A miracle is coming your way. A anointing is coming your way. A deliverance is coming your way. Amen? You cannot worry and praise at the same time. It does not mix. Whenever you find yourself in a situation worrying about something, all upset about something, Right then and there that you need to open up your mouth and start giving Jesus some thanks and praise from the glory. Because when you open up your mouth, that's when you let God intervene and take of your problem right then and there. When you open up your mouth, your mouth brings out miracles and breakthroughs out. You got to do yourself a favor right now today and bring that miracle out. You got to open up your mouth right now today and let Jesus intervene what's going on right now today. Amen. God is always in control. He's always listening and he's always living. He got you back. Don't you dare doubt him whatsoever. He knows exactly what he's doing. So my point is, praise him for who he is. Praise him for what he has done. Praise him what he is about to do in your life. Amen. Amen. My God is awesome. He's amazing. He is grateful. He's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you right now today, Jesus. I say hallelujah. We thank you right now today, Jesus. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Mm -mm -mm. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And he is so worthy, so worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to say thank you. To all my sisters, all my brothers, every boy and girl around the world right now today. Thank y'all guys so much for taking y'all time out of y'all busy schedule to be part of today's service. Thank y'all guys so much for choosing Jesus' ministry YouTube channel today 
Thank y'all for being part of today's service today. Thank y'all for listening for today's word and also today's message. Words can't even explain how happy I am, how thankful I am, how grateful I am, how blessed I am. Because of you guys, that's why this mess was still on earth. That's why it's still doing what it's doing right now today. And I'm going to let y'all know from the bottom of my heart, Minister LT say thank y'all. And I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for being faithful and thank y'all for being obedient. And so if I'm thankful and grateful and honored and blessed, how much more do you think I have a Father God is? He is so thankful right now today because of your faithfulness and your obedience that, he, that y'all guys have towards this ministry. Right now that God is doing something new. Right now, I mean right now in your life. And how do I know that? Well, if you turn your Bible to Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18 through 20, the word of God speaks when you're on the will on the past anymore. When you forget about the former things, when you start seeking Him, you start praising Him, you start glorifying Him, you start putting Him in first place, and what y'all doing right now, then when y'all are part of this service and this ministry, automatically God is doing something new. And I'm speaking this thing to existence. I'm prophesying every right now today. I'm speaking over every dry bone in the mighty name of Jesus. That Jesus is doing something new right now in your life, in your marriage, in your health, in your dreams, in your home, in your financial situation right now. Get ready to receive it. If you believe it like I believe it, shout out hallelujah. Something new is coming my way this year, this season, in 2019. There's no doubt about it. And I ain't got a question. I'm going to sit back and just thank you for it in advance because I know that you already done it for me. I'm going to thank you in advance because I know that you already turned around for me. I'm going to thank you in advance because I already know that it's already done. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. God is good. Yes, he is. He is outstanding. He's wonderful. He's magnificent. He's everything to me. Glory to God. <clears throat> is there anyone I mean, anyone right now today, if you are really, really ready to give your life to Christ, please, I boldly encourage you right now today to step out of faith and please head to the altar right now today. Is there anyone out there in the world today you want to be used by God and you read the contract? The contract means you don't read the Bible thoroughly, you understand it, you know the consequences, you know what you're about to do, you know what you're about to get yourself into. And if you're really, really ready, to step out on faith like that, please, I boldly encourage you right now today to head to the altar right now today. Is there anyone out there in the world today that's been going through some things right now? Financial struggle. Been going through a lot of pain lately. Suffering lately. Depression lately. You don't lost a job lately. Got laid off lately. You've been an emotional wreck lately. And you feel like right now nobody understands what you're going through. You feel like that you're in this situation all by yourself. You feel like you're in the middle of the ocean and you're screaming for help, but ain't nobody hearing you. Nobody want to help you. Nobody want to save you. You're thinking that you're in this situation alone. And right now, God says you're not alone in this situation. He wants you to do yourself a favor right now today. To step out on faith and head to the altar and leave it there. And how do I know he wants you to do that? Well, if you turn your Bible to 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, Jesus' word said that he, Jesus word said, cast everything on him because he cares for you. He wants you to cast that layoff on him when you got fired today, your emotional stress right now today, your financial problem, your health problem, your dream problem, your depression problem, whatever it is that got you upside down, whatever it is that got you in the red. Jesus said, cast everything on him. He said, don't you leave nothing out. He wants you to cast every single thing because he can handle the problem for you. But you got to do your stuff a favor. You got to be a big man right now today and you got to be a big girl right now today to head on to that altar and leave it there and let Jesus take care of the problem for you. Amen? Amen. Is there anyone out there in the world today that's been looking for a church home? And you've been looking, you've been looking, and you've been searching, you've been searching. But yet you haven't found anything yet. But if something tell you about Jesus' ministry right here, it's something telling you that you belong right here. And if you do, all you gotta do is hit Jesus' little red subscribe button right there. It's not my button, it's his button. It's not my ministry, it's his ministry. It's not my platform, it's his platform. And if you belong here, all you hit that little red button. I promise you one thing. The same way you came in, you're gonna come out a different person. I promise you one thing that God will always have God will always have a word for you, and he always have a message for you. 
He will always have that anointing message for you each and every day, my sisters, my brothers. And I promise you, as your pastor, we're going to pray together. We're going to worship together. We're going to fellowship together. We're going to do everything together because we are brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. And we are here to help each other. We are here to lift each other up. And we all go through things. So right now, today, my sister, my brother, I want you to get real with yourself. I want you to get right with yourself. And if you're going through something, speak out right now today. Say, I need some prayer right now today. I need someone to lay hands on me right now today. I need someone to speak prosperity over me right now today in my family. Because we all go through something. So just don't keep everything balled up inside. We're here to help each other. We're here to, to lift each other up because that's what we do as family in Christ. Amen? Amen. And I speak on this each and every day because a lot of God kids still haven't got it right with themselves yet. You're still procrastinating. You still not, have not done what God needs for you to do. And what I mean by that is a lot of you right now today, you're taking life for granted. You're thinking that every day is going to be a new day. You're thinking God's going to wake up the next day. But the word of God tells us that tomorrow is not promising me the one It's not next week or not next month. Nobody knows the time or the date or the hour when something's going to happen. And right now something just happened because someone is fighting for their life right now today. But we are praying for them right now today for a speed of recovery. There's a lot of people who don't have their chance, who don't have their opportunity anymore because they're dead and gone. And if you have not asked Jesus to come into your life to be your Lord and Savior Christ, Today is the day that today is the day that you need to open up your mouth. Today is the day that you need to get right. Today is the day that today is the day that you need to confess. Today is the day that you need to be bold about it right now today. Don't worry about the haters. Don't worry about the naysayers. Don't worry about who's looking at you or how they feel about you. All you got to say is, Lord Jesus, today is the day that I boldly ask of you to come into my life to be my Lord and Savior Christ. And once you boldly confess that right then and there you are saved, you are born again, I believe right now today that the angels are rejoicing in heaven right now today. Right now someone just received and accepted the Holy Spirit right now today. I want to say congratulations to you right now today, my sister, my brothers, and every boy and girl around the world. Amen. Amen. I'm here to help the lost souls because there's a lot of lost souls. You need to get real with yourself right now. You need to get right with God because when it's too late, it's too late. Do not wait till it's too late because a lot of people in the graveyard right now today, they wish they can come back and say, I wish I would have said something, but I don't have no time right now. And I guarantee if they can come back and talk to you, that'd be the first thing they'll tell you. You need to get right. Don't wait till it's too late because when it's too late, there's nothing you can do about it. Amen? Amen. Are y'all ready for God's words today? Are y'all ready for this anointing message today? Because God is about to speak to somebody right now today. I don't know who it is. God said he has not forgotten about you. God said he's allowed certain things to happen in your life right now today because it's all part of a setup. It's all part of the big, great payback for you, my sisters. It's all great for the big payback for you, my brothers. So get ready. So just don't look at it like God is allowing certain things. He's allowing things to happen because he know what he's about to do for you and what he's about to do for you in your life and your situation. He's about to turn up and turn out in your circumstances, my sister, my brother. So get ready. God has a word for you. Get ready. God has a message for you. God's right now about to speak to somebody in the way you're going to know that God is speaking to you. Amen? Amen. And before I get started, I would like to give my Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Amen? Amen. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this can't thank you enough for this awesome and beautiful blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for this word today. I can't thank you enough for this message today. I just can't thank you enough for the air that we's able to breathe right now. I can't thank you enough for today's service today. I can't thank you enough for all my brothers, all my sisters, every boy and girl around the world that is tuning in your ministry today, that's watching your ministry channel today. I just can't think of the food that you have blessed and prepared our table with, the clothes shoes that you put on my back. I just can't think how you move your mouth on my behalf right now today. I just can't think of our miracle right now today. I can't think of our help and our strength right now today. I can't think of the vision and the program that you gave us right now today. I just can't think how you provide them right now today, God. I just can't think of the open doors. I can't think of the door that you closed. I can't think of our blessing right now, our breakthrough right now, our healing right now, our deliverance right now, our more than enough right now, our double portion right now. I just can't think of the help right now, for the connection right now, the resources right now. I just can't think for the Holy Spirit right now. I just can't think how you watching over us and protecting us and shielding us and covering with the blood of the Lamb right now. I just can't thank you 
enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I worship you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I shout out your holy name the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. In Jesus' holy name. I just can't thank you enough. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm. God told me to tell somebody today. I don't know who God is about to speak to right now today. But God told me to spread the news right now. The good news. God said the people who's throwing it in your face. At what they're getting right now. God said allow them to do that. God says, it's all part of the plan. It's all part of the, set, the setup. It's all for the great payback what God is about to do right now in your life. And God said, I know how it's making you feel right now today because you have done everything you're supposed to do. You are faithful. You are obedient. Not only that you are praising God during the good times, but you're also praising God during the bad times. You're also praising him when things not adding up. You're also praising him when things not making sense. You're also praising him in the storm. you praise him in the wilderness. you praise him in that messed up place, that dark place. But the ones who's throwing it in your face, if you realize the only time they are happy is when God do something good in their life. And as soon as God do something in their life, they so happy, they cheerful, they want to post everything on social media. But as soon as things start turning left, they disappear from God. You don't see them no more. They, they, you see like they wipe straight off from the planet of the earth. You don't, you wonder if they dead. You wonder what they caught, they caught somewhere missing somewhere. You don't know where they're because you don't hear from them. You don't see from them. They is vanished from the planet called earth. But God said, lie to them to throw it in your face. Lie them to, to be happy with the small little blessings. Because God said, I got a big blessing. I got a huge blessing with your name on it. In the book of Job, it tells, he told his wife, do you think I'm going to I'm going to praise God during the good times and not praise him during the bad times? He's, let, he's letting you know it's going to be some good times and it's also going to be some bad times. But Job's word is, I'm going to praise God even during the bad times because when it's bad, I want to be close with God because when I'm close with God, I know God is up with something. I know God is going to break through with something. I know the same God who blessed me the first time is going to be the same God who going to bless me again. But some of these people right now today, they don't understand that. They don't realize that the only time they want to be happy, the only time they want to praise Jesus when things are going good. So God say, let them throw it in your face. He said, I know exactly how it's making you feel and that's what we're going to talk about in this subject right now today about two sisters you got one sister one sister she was happy because God was just blessing her was giving her things baby after baby after baby after baby then you got the other sister she was kind of disappointed she was hurt she like I want to have the same thing why is God not blessing me why is God not giving me what I need I want a child too I want to be a mother too so God says all part of the plan he said, just sit back and watch how I do this. Just sit back how I work it up because what one sister have, the other sister have something even better lined up. She don't even realize what she have. They were God's about to tell somebody right now. They said, the payback on your life is going to be something else. The blessing that's about to come your way is going to be more than what you ever expected. The breakthrough is going to be more than what you thought was about to come to you. Amen. Amen. And I would love for y'all to turn your Bibles to Genesis 30, and we're going to read verse 36. If you I mean verse 4. If you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. That's Genesis 30, and we're going to read verse 1. Please turn your Bibles to Genesis 30, and we're going to read verse 1. Amen. Amen. Let's begin. When Rachel saw that she was not bearing Jacob any children, she became jealous of her sister. So she said to Jacob, give me children or I die. So right now, Rachel, she in this rage right now because he said she's married to the man and she want to be a mother. She want to have kids. But the sister's also married to Jacob as well. But the sister, she is having kids and not Rachel. So right now, 
Leah is throwing it all in her face. Look what God is doing to me. Look what God is bringing me. So right now, she's posting everything on Instagram, all on Facebook, all on social media. But if you really like, you look deep inside the, if you look deep inside the text, the social media was not posting anything about her. She was posting everything toward social media. Totally two different things. So that's what God is saying right now. Today. Let them rub it in your face. Let them do what they do because we look at it when it's your time. You ain't got to post anything on social media. Social media is going to post everything about you. Mm, I'm going to say that again. You're not going to have to post anything on social media. Social media is going to post everything on about you. People going to know about your blessing. People going to know about your breakthrough. You don't have to announce it. You ain't got to rub it nobody's face because the payback on your life is greater than what you even can think and what you even can imagine my brothers and my sisters he said I know what you're going through I know what it looked like because you're doing everything right and you probably said well God why are you blessing them and you're not blessing me God said you're blessing two different blessings she got a, a baby blessing you have an elephant blessing and I'm just going to break this down I know some of y'all probably don't understand this but what's the difference between a human baby and an elephant baby a human baby only weighed between five to even nine pounds. That's all it weighed. And you know when you're on a human have a baby, automatically you want to show it off to the world. But when the elephant have a baby, when the elephant drop his baby, it shakes the earth. So the whole earth going to know about that blessing. The whole earth going to know about that breakthrough. That's the difference between your blessing and their blessing. That's the difference between the Leah's and the Rachel's. You get what I'm saying? Right now, you have a Rachel blessing compared to a Leah blessing. So God said, let the Leah blessing post everything on YouTube. Let the Leah blessing post everything on Instagram. Let the Leah blessing post everything on Facebook and Snapchat. But say when the Rachel blessing come, everybody going to know about that Rachel blessing. You get what I'm saying right now? Amen. So let's go to verse 7, my sister, my brothers. Now, Rachel's servant, Bilhah, conceived again and bore Jacob a second son. Then Rachel said, I have had a great struggle with my sister, and I have won. So she named him Napata. So right now, they, they're competing one another. And when you're competing with, with the with the, with the, with the Leos, it's already a little, little situation. God don't want you to compete. He know that you are heartbroken. He know how you feel right now. But the one thing that you should not do is compete with the Leos. God don't want you to do it because God said your blessing is on the way. Your break is on the way. Your healing is on the way. Everything that you ask me for is on the way. God said I'm allowing this to happen right now today if you really trust me. Don't think I counted you out. Don't think I'm not listening to your prayer. Don't think I didn't hear you. Don't think I forgot about you. But right now, I'm allowing, right now, the Leah's to do what they need to do. Because one thing I know about the Leah's, the Leah's only want to praise me when things are going good. The Leah's don't want to praise me when things are going bad. The Leah's don't want to praise me in the storm. The Leah's don't want to praise me in the wilderness. The Leah's don't want to praise me during the ugly places. The Leah's don't want to praise me during the drought. The Leah's don't want to praise me when things not adding up or making sense. But they say, but the Rachel's praise me all day long. So God said, I'm going to look out for the, for the Rachel's. I'm going to bless the Rachel's. So right now, he wants you to be the Rachel right now. He said, don't focus too much on the Leah's right now. Just focus on the Rachel. Because right now, you have a Rachel blessing. You have a Rachel lined up that's coming your way. And that's what God is telling somebody right now. Don't focus on that. You got two different types of blessing. And, and right now, God is telling somebody right now today that your baby is on the way. He said, your baby is already mature. And a baby don't mean having a baby by conceiving a baby. A baby can't be by your business, a ministry deal, a house, or whatever it is that you've been asking for, whatever it is that you've been praying for, whatever it is that you've been doing everything in your life for. He said, you have a Rachel blessing. He said, you have a Rachel blessing. 